Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, a quick but I think absolutely fascinating MD Minute that was just published. Researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital publishing an, in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, Network Open. So this is prestigious institution, prestigious journal. There is a lot of discussion in the literature about the relationship between depression and use of social media, especially in younger adults and in youngsters. Um, but this is an interesting study because what they did is that they surveyed 5,395 people and these were not young adults. Average age 56, two-thirds of the women, and they had them take a survey called the PHQ-9 depression survey, which essentially scores higher than five, etc., seem to suggest an increased risk of depression, their depression symptoms. And what they did is they took that and then they asked them, what social media platforms do you regularly use? And the results are absolutely fascinating. They found that if you were using Snapchat, your risk of worsening depression score and therefore worsening depression symptoms was 53% higher than people who weren't. Uh, Facebook was 42% higher than people who weren't. And TikTok was 39% higher. Now, the researchers quite rightly said, is increased social media a marker for depression, people are depressed and therefore they're going on social media, or is the social media itself worsening or causing depression? So my take on this is that this is fascinating. I think it's something to follow. What we really need is larger studies to elicit, to elucidate whether it is actually the social media worsening and causing people to be more depressed. It's possible, it might be true in adults, including young adults, but maybe even older patients. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.